Hi everyone, and welcome to... Wait for it. Wait for it. You know what it is. It's live with Cappy. Cappy here. Once again coming to you from... Ah, you know where I'm at. On today's episode, we will be discussing the Kumeyaay Indians and their cuisine, the foods they eat. The Kumeyaay are a tribe of indigenous people of the America who live, who live between the northern border of Baja California and the southern California border. So they are the indigenous people of this area, of San Diego. The Kumeyaay, Kumeyaay translates to those face the water from a cliff. Makes sense, right? They consisted of three related groups. And I do apologize if I don't say these correct. The Impai, the Taipei, and the Kam Kamiya. The San Diego River divided the Impai and the Tipai, historic homeland, while the Keep the Kai Mia lived in the eastern desert area. The Empire lived to the north and the Tipai to the south. While you might not have heard of Kumeyaay Indians, a few tribes of Kumeyaay Indians might sound familiar. You probably have heard of Barona, Viejas, and Saquon. They are indigenous people to the San Diego County. These, these indigenous people, their staple food were acorns, which they could grind up to make a mush that could be used to make bread. Pretty cool, huh? They also ate the leaves and fruits of the prickly pear, the copal, cactus, cherries, plums, elderberries, and the mazanita berries. They did hunt for animals such as birds, rabbits, squirrels, antelope, deer, and mountain sheep. Also, they would eat insects. Get this, guys. They ate insects because they are very nutritious. They would eat crickets, grubs, and grasshoppers. On today's episode, we will be making fry bread, a staple of the indigenous people. For this activity, you will need adult help adult permission and adult supervision. Please do not do this activity unless you have an adult to help you. Okay, once again, we're back in the kitchen for today's project. Remember, any projects done in the kitchen, you will need adult help, adult permission, and adult supervision. You will need adult help for this project as we will be working with hot grease. So we make sure you have adult help. We are making fry bread. Now fry bread is something Native Americans, all Native Americans had some sort of fried bread as a staple in their cuisine. For this project, you're gonna need flour, one cup of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, three pork, three fourth cup milk, and two teaspoons of baking powder. So basically, it's a, a, a dough. Those are the basic ingredients in a dough activity. So we're gonna add our flour. I already added the baking soda and the salt. So we're gonna stir this up, mix this up. Until we get a dough form. So after you get your dough form, you just put it on a board with flour and you're gonna knead your dough. So it's just like playing with Play-Doh, you're just gonna kind of play with it. And then 
then after that, you're gonna roll it out very thick. Please remember, adult help, adult supervision, adult permission. So after you roll it out very thin, you're gonna cut it in small pieces, and then you're gonna fry it. Adult must do the frying. Working with hot grease is very, very dangerous. So your fry bread, when it's done, should be a nice golden brown. Please, please make sure that adult has done your cooking. So, one of the things I was thinking is you can always mix your fry bread with your berries. That's pretty delicious. If you would like to share how your fry bread turned out with Miss Kathy, please send an email. Please send a picture to the email address up above. And once again, thank you for watching another episode of Live with Kathy. Please remember, adult supervision, adult help, and adult permission.